Hi, my name is Eric Knapp, and I'm the Director of Technology Marketing at Nitro Security. In my last demo of NitroView Enterprise Security Manager, I gave a general overview of the interface, but this time I'd like to focus on a specific new addition called Dashboards. Now, these dashboards provide at-a-glance assessment of the health of your infrastructure. In the User Activity Dashboard, we see a list of all source users, and we see all of the events the average severity of those events, and the distinct applications, hosts, and source and destination IPs associated with them. Now you might notice that these dials are a little bit colorful. That's because NitroView understands the concept of dynamically calculated baselines. So we can see that 5.7 million events have occurred total associated with one of these users. We can also see that only approximately 1 million were expected based on a baseline calculated over a time period consistent with the current month we're looking at now. Now in this case we're so far above that anomaly that the entire dial turns red to further accentuate the fact that this is a severe anomaly. Now looking at all users is useful but being able to focus on specific users such as anonymous users is perhaps even more useful. In this case we see that we've seen 3400 total events associated with an anonymous user. We don't expect to see any. However, we can also see that the average severity of those events is relatively low and that it's confined to a specific source IP using a specific application host and to a specific destination IP. Now looking at administrator events, we see that again, there's quite a few more events associated with an admin account than normal, but in this case we see that the average severity of those events is extremely high. In this case, there's a clear indication that we should be investigating activities surrounding the user administrator, and we can do that through the drill down capability of NitroView, which we'll do in a separate demonstration. Now looking at the application activity dashboard, we see a similar display. We have the list of applications and again the total counts of events, the severity thereof, distinct source and destination IPs, hosts, and in this case in the place of the application, we now see the user. To look at VNC activity, we now see all events associated with the application Ultra VNC. Now, NitroView can also collect network flow activity, either from NetFlow, JFlow, or SFlow, or from the native flow collection capabilities of our own NitroGuard IPS. In this case, we see the network devices. Now, in our demonstration network, we have two switches, switch A and switch B, that are collecting a, that responsible, ultimately, for that same 5.7 million events. However, we now also understand flow information. So we know that there were 42.9 million flows associated with that with those two switches. The total number of packets and total number of bytes produced by those flows. And again, we can select a specific device to narrow down the activity. These new dashboards make it very easy to see how your network is performing at any given period in time. Because of the real-time nature of NitroView ESM, you're able to look at specific items, move from device to user to application and back again, or select subsets of those to very quickly see where the concentration of events is occurring within your network and how that, is it, and how that applies to expected baseline behavior. 